Anytime you're trying out a new kind of paint or just getting into painting for the first time, it helps to reduce your variables. And instead of using all the full color palette and dealing with hue and chroma, I like to start with just value, black and white, or maybe black and white and a little brown, and doing basically a monochromatic painting. Come with me to uh, Lowell's Boat Shop in Massachusetts, and let's do an interior scene using a very limited palette of colors. The inside of the boat is warm, relatively, more brownish, and then the outside areas around the windows are cooler, so I can use a little black thinned down for the areas around the windows. And I start using some opaques to define the gunnel, the top edge of the boat along the shear line. I need a steady hand here, so I reach for a piece of wood to serve as a mall stick. And this simply guides my hand like a ruler to make that line a little more exact. Working from background to foreground helps when there's so much overlapping detail. A flat brush can be used sideways to define forms that are narrower than the brush itself. I was lucky to have a uh, a visit toward the end of the painting by Graham McKay, the master boat builder of Lowell's Boat Shop, along with some of the other guys who took a look at the painting as I was getting close to finishing up. Oh, that's, that's, that's really neat. The depth of it is really, really neat. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Any, anything Lord. got a place to you or that they need to adjust? No, it's very hard for artists to get the sheer line right, and you have done it. Oh. And Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, it's just part of a much longer video called Casein Painting in the Wild. It's 74 minutes long with seven different episodes. A mountain stream, a park in Montreal, some horses at a ranch in Wyoming, an ordinary street scene in Kingston, New York, a creek in Wyoming, and a street scene in Colorado. The video will take you through all the steps in the process from start to finish on each painting. And I'll also go through the materials, the special properties of casein, and a lot of the stuff that I'll be covering will apply to a lot of different kinds of painting. So come with me on casein painting in the wild. Hi, I hope you enjoyed. There's lots more videos at any of these buttons. And this is just a sample of a longer form DVD or download that you can get at those buttons that say Kunaki or Gumroad in the About section. Thanks for coming by.